It's all it's right all to be right. just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. With that, With that in mind, you should understand, should understand God's, God's completely insane. insane. <laughs>
how much light you've accumulated, it all goes in the other room. And all you got is darkness. And they won. Do you understand this? What you've been through is amazing. The old soul knows fear. I don't want to be too graphic, but I want to be graphic. I want to tell you, they haven't got a chance to scare you. You know what fear is. They haven't got it. They haven't got enough of it. You've been through it all. That means you've got the armor of truth and wisdom and light. But don't forget it. Do you see how fast they assembled? It seemed like only yesterday there was, there was no organization at all. And today, where did that come from? Have you noticed a certain hesitancy to fight them? Why is it that the, that the citizens of the lands that they are invading are hesitant to fight them? They're calling on others. And why is it that the others are also hesitant? I want, I want to show you there are some anomalies of logic that are not making sense. Just because it's a battle we've never seen before on this planet, we've expected it, you haven't. It's consciousness. We gave you the secret before of how to defeat them without taking one life, simply take away their funding. They cannot exist without their funding. The funding has to be organized, it has to be stored, it has to be distributed, it has to be generated, it has to go through institutions. Did you hear that? All you have to do is stop it. It won't be done with bombing. <laughs> it's going to be done with, I would say, financial forensics. It's time to get smart on these things. To look at the puzzles differently than you think. Do not apply the energy that they have to them. Because you won't win. Figure it out. It's the last bastion of evil on this planet coming together to try to survive. I want you to know this as you look at your news, as you fail to stop them, as they gain strength and they create fear. The fear is easily created in those who are not old souls, who don't know fear, who don't have the armor. That puts you on the front line, dear one. Do you realize that? High consciousness will beat it any day. There's more. Would you define evil for me? This is a lesson you need to hear that some of you will not like because human beings want to assign evil to entities. They want to put evil in another box. They don't want to put it in a human box. It couldn't be. And they'll say, well, there are evil spirits, there are evil entities, there's this and that, and they come and they go. I would like to tell you what evil is. Evil is the, is the manifestation of a dark energy within a human being who on purpose takes it and generates it, amplifies it, manifests it, and uses it. The dictators of the planet did it perfectly. You saw them. They were able to broadcast it so well that everyone around them bought into it. That's evil. And they didn't have an evil angel with them. They didn't have somebody with, with, with uh, horns and a tail. They did it themselves. This is what humans can do. This is a powerful attribute of humanity that it can go both ways. Free choice. Are you starting to connect the dots? You are connected to this planet. As goes humanity, goes the planet's consciousness. Gaia, Mother Nature, whatever you want to call it, cooperates with human consciousness. If you spend a thousand years killing each other, then Gaia, human consciousness, will take a look at what you have decided you want and help. Now, I've just set the stage for the next subject, haven't I? Evolve. Are you afraid yet? For here comes something you didn't expect. You haven't had it in your lifetime. And you're afraid of it. Have a little fire, Scarecrow? What are you afraid of? Darkness. Hmm? The Ebola virus is a shock and a surprise. It is propelled by ignorance and fear. Look at where it started. Look at how it gets, gets its, its ability to continue to reproduce to those who believe it's a curse instead of those who understand it's science. Those who refuse to leave their family because they believe it's cursed, instead of understanding they should be in isolation, and the family dies. And other families see it, and they're afraid. It is a curse, they say. Ignorance. 
Look at where it started. It's smart now. It represents the darkness and darker consciousness of Gaia. A concept that may be foreign to you. Is it possible that Mother Nature also has polarity? Yes. <laughs> Gaia is in the fight with you. Put your consciousness with the earth. The ancients did it. The indigenous did it. And you're not doing it. Maybe it's time to start your meditations with thank you. Planet Earth for supporting me in the spirituality of my Akash. For always being with me. A presence that I might not acknowledge, but is a life force that is mine too. The ancients started their ceremonies in that way. What do you do? Have you forgotten? This is not a negative message. You are the ones who have caused this. Congratulations for shining a light so bright that you've got darkness on the run. The proof of that is everything I just told you. Against all odds. Against all odds, you've got a movement that is as evil and dark as you can imagine that has sprung up overnight with multiple funding and plenty of help. Scaring everyone around it. So frightening is it, there are coalitions between countries that would never get together and agree on anything. And now they're at the table figuring it out how to fight them. That's evil. Evil is not created through outside forces any more than light is created through outside forces. Light and dark is a balance that humanity has the ability to pull upon in either direction. Did you hear that? You can go as dark as you want, as light as you want, and you always had that ability, and that is what we have seen in history forever. You are in a situation now where you have come out of a barbarian age, thousands of years of conquering and killing and war, and you've turned the corner. Now when you see it, the old energy, it's abhorrent to you. You cannot look upon it. And you want to crouch in the other room. Do not despair. Generate the light that you came in with. Now that's too simple, Crying. Oh, really? How do you think this planet has turned this corner? Do you not understand that the light that you have is a multidimensional force? It is not linear. It's not the amount of it. It's the intense quantumness of it. That is to say that a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. The dynamics dark and light are not about quantity. You're in a room and it's dark and it's filled with many human beings. So dark is it they bump into each other. It's frightening not to be able to see who is next to you, who, who they might represent, how big they are, the gender, we don't know, you don't know. You feel isolated. You cling to your neighbor by holding hands. You find, you find others who will hold hands with you. You're safe as long as you hold hands. Don't bump into the others because you don't know what they have or what they don't. The others are after your resources, so it's better if you would then come together, perhaps build a little city of your own, put walls around it so they can't get you. You can't see them. They could be anything. They could have weapons. They could be dark. You don't know. You can't see them. And for hundreds of years, this is the consciousness of the planet. You separate. You combine, you defend and conquer. In this dark room, suddenly there comes the match bearer. He lights a match. It's not much, but if you're in a black room, a little bit of light goes a long way. Suddenly, the room, the entire room, it's not flooded with light, but you can start to see dimly around you. You can see your neighbors while they're just like you. Humans start to drop the walls. They, they break the circle. They stop holding hands. They find other hands to hold. They find the other circles are just like them. They want to know where did the light come from? They don't even know the name of the match bearer, do they? Did the match bearer have a doctrine? No. Did the match bearer have an organization? No. What did the match bearer have? Light. And they want more of it. They look at the match bearer and they say, I can do that. And they take and light something from his match. Suddenly there's more light. Others go and light it from her match. Suddenly there's more light. Now they can see each other clearly. Now there's no reason at all for fear. 
This is the metaphor of the consciousness on the planet slowly increasing. 20 years old. We gave it then because we knew about today. If you shine your light through how you act and staying out of fear, the whole world will be brighter for it. And that is the truth. It's profound, isn't it? I told you it was coming. Here it is. Now deal with it. I just told you how. You're winning the battle, dear one. Don't watch the news. <laughs> it'll make you it'll make you scared. That's their job. Understand it. And so it is.